Creative BioArray is an innovative biotechnology company, whose mission focuses on developing unique technologies that provide global scientists with high-quality products and satisfactory services to facilitate the investigation of life science researches. Creative BioArray offers 35 human cell systems with over 160 different cell types. Moreover, we also provide our customers primary cells from over 13 types of other animals. Primary cells can give extremely accurate information about the cells in vivo and give relevant information regarding the living systems. They can be categorized in epithelial cells, fibroblasts, neurons, keratinocytes, endothelial cells, muscle cells, hematopoietic and mesenchymal stem cells. Primary cells differ from cell lines in many ways. Here's what you should know about primary cells. Primary cells retain many markers and have limited expansion capabilities. Besides, they are sensitive to culture conditions and easily affected by density and confluence, so they need additional nutrients. Cell lines that have been continually passaged over a long period of time and have acquired homogeneous genotypic and phenotypic characteristics. An immortalized or continuous cell line has acquired the ability to proliferate indefinitely, either through genetic mutations or artificial modifications. Cell lines are preferably used for convenience as they are easy to handle and widely published. Primary cells isolated directly from human or animal tissue using enzymatic or mechanical methods. Once isolated, they are placed in an artificial environment supported with specialized medium containing essential nutrients and growth factors. At Creative BioArray, we focus on primary cell culture, and we are very familiar with the common problems that researchers face when cultivating them. Primary cells are rarely 100% pure, so you should be aware of the morphology of potential contaminating cells. Primary cells are very sensitive to the thawing process, placing the vine 37C, gently hold and rotate until the contents thaw. We do not recommend centrifuging cell after thawing, because centrifugation process is more harmful than the DMSO residue. Primary cells can only be gently resuspended with a pipette, any additional forces will damage the primary cells. When grown to 100% confluence, primary cells can become senescent, so we recommend that primary cells be subcultured at 90-95% to confluence. Trypsin can be harmful to cells, we recommend to use low concentrations of trypsin and completely neutralize cells after trypsin digestion. As primary cells proliferate and adapt to the culture environment, protein expression will change, we suggest to use primary cells as early as possible to prevent genetic drift. Creative BioArray has a range of human and animal primary cells and media. The following features of our primary cells make them ideal for your research. If you have other questions, please contact us in the following way.